Hello, everybody. My name is Alexander Kazina, a.k.a. Cozy Bear, and I'd like to thank you once again for joining me this evening for another Twitch stream spectacular. Uh, as discussed last time, uh, in light of my recent failure with my Pokemon Platinum Nuzlocke Challenge, uh, I'm going to be foregoing playing more Pokemon Platinum uh, or just Pokemon Nuzlocke runs in general for the rest of the year so that I can focus on some Game of the Year caliber video games that I have not yet had the chance to get around to. And tonight, we are going to be checking out a game that I had the fortune of picking up during Black Friday. That's right, it is Sifu. Uh, or as its subtitle calls it, Sifu is one life enough to know Kung Fu. That's a good ass subtitle. Or, or logline or whatever it is that they want to call it. Uh, I've never played this game before. Legitimately just downloaded it before tonight's stream, so I'm going into this fresh. Um, I mean, yeah, no, nothing much more to say other than let's jump right in. This is not apparently a particularly long game. Apparently, a lot of its length is dependent on, you know, how skilled of a player you are and how quick you're able to kind of get through its many, many challenges without any additional aid. So could even complete the game on stream, but I suspect that that's probably not going to happen. Uh, you know what? Real quick, real quick. I'm actually going to look up a trophy guide real quick. Uh, to see what uh, difficulty they recommend we play Sifu on, uh, like for a first time around. Because this is probably one of those games where, like, you have to repeatedly replay through it on like multiple different difficulties. Um, interesting. So yeah, this is from PowerPicks.com. Uh, estimated trophy difficulty three out of ten, which is a little bit surprising to be honest. Uh, approximate amount of time to platinum ten to twenty hours. Highly skill dependent. Um, no missable trophies, no online trophies, da 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 da. And okay, interesting. So apparently, uh, on May third, an easy mode was added, uh, called student difficulty. Um, but you will apparently this easy mode makes the game much easier, but you still need to complete it at level twenty five or lower. Uh. Interesting. So it says step one, play through the story on student difficulty and get the talismans. Um, uh, you get a talisman for each, each boss at the end of every mission. Uh, when you spare the respective boss instead of killing them, each boss gives one talisman slash trophy to spare bosses. Do not kill them in their second phase with the takedown. Instead, wait a few seconds until the prompt disappears and break their structure again, and you'll see the option to spare their life with the left D-pad. Interesting. Interesting. Um... Uh, pick up collectibles, grind XP for permanent skill unlocks, and practice every mission. And then finish the story at age 25 or younger uh, to avoid deaths. And so, interesting, interesting. So, it seems like, it seems like there are no difficulty-related trophies. It seems like you can actually, like, complete the game, like, uh... Yeah, it seems to say this here. Does difficulty affect trophies? No, you can do everything on student difficulty, which is easy. That is, I'm not going to lie, a little bit surprising. I don't know. Do I want to play on student difficulty? Let's let's advance a little bit here. Well, let's go through a couple of these options. Yes, yes. Uh, yep, yeah, looks good. Interesting. So I guess it was just it was just disciple and master. A harder difficulty level for seasoned players who want an even more challenging experience. I guess I guess this explains why the game's trophy level was at a 3 out of 10, because if you're playing it at student difficulty, it's probably not that bad. Uh, I am curious. Sifu. Recommended difficulty. Because I know that like every now and then people are, people kind of definitively band together and are like, yeah, you should definitely play on this particular difficulty level because this is what you'll get the most enjoyment out of. I, 
honestly, like I, I, I was reading through a, a Games Radar article just a moment ago, uh, and it wasn't really sort of giving a like specific uh, recommendation towards any particular one. It was just saying, you know, if you play on Master Difficulty, it's this hard. If you play on Disciple Difficulty, it's this hard. Uh, let's see here. This is from Push Square. Hands on. Sifu's new difficulty settings are a superb addition. Uh, when Sifu la launched back in February, its steep uh, difficulty curve wasn't necessarily criticized, but it was enough to put a lot of potential players off. Indeed, even if you go and take a look at our review, which dropped prior to release, the comment section is full of people questioning whether they'd be able to put time to what uh, can be such a demanding game. Um, we think that developer Slow Cap Clap has done a fantastic job of implementing something that makes the game more approachable on a fundamental level without it actually damaging the title's ability to challenge the player. Indeed, Sifu's student mode is a fantastic way to learn the game. On its normal difficulty, Sifu is fair but very unforgiving. Uh, the title's aging mechanic means that multiple deaths in quick succession can propel you towards a game over very, very quickly. Uh... But student mode dials back Sifu's unforgiving nature to a point where it feels like you can learn the nuances of its combat system without having to endure the repetition. For starters, the aging mechanic is toned down significantly. Each death ages your character by one year, never anything more, and this alone is enough to make Sifu uh, seem relatively welcoming. Uh, combine that with a larger player bar, as well as aggressive enemies, and it's now possible for newcomers to regress through at least a couple of Sifu's levels before the dreaded game over hits. That's the thing, though, student mode won't make C4 you walk in the park. You'll still have to understand and utilize the game system if you want to find success. It's easier rather than easy. Okay, you know what? You know what, ladies and gentlemen, I'm sorry if you were tuning in to watch a particularly uh, difficult Sifu playthrough, but I think that I'm going to go with student difficulty. I, I got to be honest with y'all. I myself, I myself was actually semi dreading the extreme difficulty that Sifu was going to pose to me. And everything that I've read about student difficulty seems like it is a fair compromise in that regard. Of course, I can always, you know, bump up the difficulty to disciple or, you know, heaven forbid, even master if I find student difficulty a little bit too difficult. Uh, but I think that this will be only fair. And also, you know, I do want to complete as many of these games as possible before the end of the year. And so I feel like in that regard, uh, student difficulty will help out a lot. Uh, nope, not that. All right, let's go. Sorry, I just wanted to bump up the, the brightness of the screen by a little bit. Oh man, I'm getting a lot of uh, haptic feedback right now on my PlayStation controller. You can feel literally every raindrop it's quite something Okay, so square to do a light attack, triangle to do a heavy attack, uh, triangle and circle for a takedown, and then L1 for a parry. What's going on? Who are you? Get out of my way. Leave him to me. Oh man, I was hoping to do a, a couple of takedowns there. At least he didn't kill them. Huh? 
thought you said they'd put up a fight. I'm barely breaking a sweat. Don't be so arrogant. There's a lot more uh, dialogue in this game than I was anticipating, to be honest. Okay, so we are playing in modern times. Okay. <laughs> and we can hold down that to rush if we need to. Ooh, okay, so we can pick up these objects. Okay, with the circle button. Uh oh. Yang! How dare you set foot in here again? You should never have come back. Nice to see you. It's been a while. Get him! stuck oh thank god i was really concerned for a second there uh that i was stuck but thankfully that was not the case okay uh can't go upstairs I should never have taught you. Now you know too much. By returning here tonight, you've given me a second chance. This time, I will do what I must. Okay, interesting. I didn't, that was uh, my first time attempting that. Uh, 
Interesting. I thought, see, I thought I could, uh, like, merc have mercy on him there and obtain that talisman, but I guess that's not an option here. Or I guess you can't win this fight? Again, I'm still trying to give him mercy, but it seems like the game doesn't want me to do that at this point. Shit, he got him. Is he going to get what he wants? Show yourself. Oh, interesting. Okay, okay. See, I figured... I, I, I was not certain whether or not the character that we were playing as was the protagonist of the game or not. I figured that it probably wasn't because they were acting in a little bit too sinister of a manner. But, you know, every now and then you do play as an anti-hero. You know what? I... All the previews for this game showed you playing as a boy. I'm going to play as a girl. Okay, I get it. They're like the Metal Gear Solid team of villains that make a tremendous impression on you at a young and impressionable age. And now your lot in life is to kill them. Uh oh. Oh no. Or maybe maybe just cut off her hair. Loading. Uh oh. Oh no, he cut off more than her hair. This is a solid ass ending. So, ending, Jesus. It's an ending for his life, and it's the beginning of this game. I'm trying to I'm trying to get the the deflect timing down right but it's a little bit tough. It seems like you can't really 
It seems seems like while they're um, on the ground, you can't really do anything. Avoid high attacks. Uh. Okay. So it's actually, I thought that you had to hold down L1 and like the directional pad at the same time, but it seems like you gotta, you, you kind of got to do one after the other. Seems like the palm strike, it's not like the most powerful attack, but it basically pushes your opponent back. Okay. I'll do my best to remember this, but it is a lot to take in right up front. I see. So these are all the, the members of the rival gang that you encountered at the beginning, but obviously this is not you killing them. This is just you battling up against them in a dream state once again. Oh, I get it. She has... She, oh, she only has one arm, but her other arm is this... I know I know that it has a specific name, but this uh, chained weapon. That is a pretty cool character design. Okay, okay. Sorry, I didn't see that we had to do a, a down attack. Okay, so I get it. So anytime that we encounter a character that is down, we have to hold circle. And I guess like the, the downside to using a down attack is that you obviously leave yourself a little bit vulnerable in case anybody wants to attack you during that state, but it's certainly an option. What is the deal with this leader character? Uh oh. I guess because we're just finding one enemy now, there's no reason why we can't just do... Oh, cool. That is cool title treatment. I guess because there was just one enemy, we could have just kept sweeping them. <laughs> Ooh. So, a lot of people have talked about how the art direction in the museum level in this game is particularly exceptional. Um, you know, from what limited, you know, screenshots and video footage of this game that I've seen before, like, the game already always looked a little bit, like, on kind of the generic side in terms of its art style. I was kind of surprised to see so many people heap praises upon the museum level. Now, just looking out at the visa in front of me like this, I can understand uh, just what this game might have in store for me. Well, lots of things put together.
here we go. This is the museum. Okay, it seems pretty... Oh, wait, hold on, hold on. What are these? Uh, after each death, the pendant increases its death counter. Uh, then, when rising, your age... The, uh, then, when rising, you age the same number of years. As the years increase, the pendant gradually loses its power and the coins eventually break. Uh, once there are no more coins remaining, you cannot rise again and your next death leads to a game over. Alright, seems simple enough. Uh, I'm not going to spend too much time around here because I do want to get into the action, but you always do want to investigate your home base a little bit. Okay, I see. So this is just like a little tutorial thing of a bob in case you want to fight dummy enemies. Uh, sorry, Dad. Uh, I see. So this is the shrine. Uh, snap kick. Uh, engage attack. What important forward momentum? Okay. Uh, okay. I think I'm ready to head out. But where to? Okay, I get it. So this is basically my level select screen. I like that. I like the idea that we're looking out at a visa of the world in front of us. Well, I like the it, it was kind of hard to make out earlier when we were playing in the dark, but I like that this game has like a bit of that um, like cell shaded aesthetic to it. They've blocked the entrance to the warehouse. Need to find another way inside. Get lost. Nothing here for you. <laughs> I warned you, asshole. Oof, not bad. But I need to I need to make sure that I can remember my combos. Alright, so I gotta do backward forward triangle to do a sweep, and then backward forward uh square to do a palm strike. Okay, I think I got this. And I gotta hold when an enemy is down, I gotta hold circle to basically take them down. <clears throat> Ooh, I'm guessing 
I suspect, given how powerful it is, that I don't get to hold on to that pipe the entire time. Jesus. I do wonder... Actually, I wonder if maybe there's like a, a trophy for beating the entire level without using items. That kind of feels fair. Let's see. Skull letter. Locked until we fucking say so. On this note, stuck to a door, blocking my way into the warehouse. Ooh. All right. Well, without further ado, let's proceed a little bit deeper into said warehouse, shall we? Hold on. Junkies. I don't think they'll be a problem. By the way, amazing soundtrack. Okay, maybe amazing is a little bit superlative, but I am really liking the background music that's playing right now. Uh, if I can get it open, this will be a useful shortcut. Interesting. Uh, I'm guessing I can't just break it open like that. Okay. I'm actually not a thousand percent certain where I gotta go now. <clears throat> I don't think there's much else to do out here right now. No, I think we're good. Like this. Ooh, what's that? I can see someone. I can see someone across the way. Well, this is interesting. Uh, all right. Guess that's it for over there. Uh, oh, hold on a sec. I thought that was something I could pick up. It clearly is not. All right. Jesus. Okay, so we we lost access to our pipe, unfortunately. Uh. 
I gotta be honest, I'm shocked. Uh, on stream it looks fine, but for whatever reason on the monitor that I'm using, the game still looks super duper hard to see. I wonder if I, if I improve the contrast a little bit. I can see a little bit better. Well, that is definitely much improved, but it is still pretty a pretty dark game. Hold on, let me just, I'm just gonna do a little bit more experimentation. Don't worry, I will get right back to the Sifu action in just a bit. Yeah, okay, there we go. I'm gonna improve the contrast a little bit. And uh, you know what, I'll just mess with the gamma a little bit as well. There we go, that's much better. Much better. Uh, the drug produced here, uh, it appeared a few years after the death of my father, and its use has increased dramatically throughout the city. Huh. Oh, seems like we have the opportunity to grab another weapon. Might as well do so before we forget to do so. Oh, here we go. Our first real big corridor fight. Here we go, we got ourselves another pipe. There we go, I was trying to make sure that I remembered how to do a sweep correctly. Get out, get out of here. Ah, oh, sorry, I wasn't, I didn't realize I had to use the run button for that. Oh shit. Oh, really? That quick? Okay, let's see here. I have to, I would have to imagine that for a lot of people, for a lot of people, this first corridor fight has to be the first time that they die as well. Because like compared to all the other sequences that we've had to deal with so far, this is like far and away the most challenging. Even though admittedly I am beginning to notice that enemies don't tend to... Enemies don't really tend to like, attack you while you're in the middle of engaging someone else. I, I like that. So what I appreciated there is that the moment I landed the finishing blow on that one final enemy, the camera angle cut so that we were facing back on the corridor of enemies that we immediately just defeated. I really love it. Really love it when video games take a moment to kind of show all of the progress that you've made up until this point to remind you of the trials and tribulations that you've managed to complete and make you, you know, feel a sense of uh, accomplishment in your actions. And I appreciated that it did so just right there real quick. You just spent so much time taking down all these enemies. You died once along the way. You're feeling a little bit bitter about it, but just when you finally manage to launch the finishing punch on the enemy, the camera is no longer fixed. It shows back on the corridor that you just swept your way through and all the enemies that are lying on the floor. For that one easy teensy moment, you go, oh man, I really beat the shit out of this hallway of enemies and I feel good? Question mark about it? 
we don't know whether or not these people are good or bad, but that's that's solid little little game design right there. All right. Okay, so enemies will engage you while you're fighting one-on-one. -on -one. Shit. I I'm trying to I'm trying to get a little bit too fancy with combos there. It's my bad. Seems like they it seems like they have a little bit more pep in their step. I am trying to remember though. Okay, perfect, perfect. So sweep, palm strike, we already know about that. Okay, directional throw. That was the button combination I was trying to remember because I've been doing a lot of successful parries, but yeah, there we go. Okay, circle and triangle. The warehouse. I'm getting close here. Ooh, uh, let's see here. Oh, wow. So we can actually unlock a lot of stuff right off the bat. Powerful strike to the enemy's knee, knocking them down for a while. You know what? This sounds interesting. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to unlock Raining Strikes. Uh, interesting. So I can... Uh, I see. So I can choose between unlocking a bit of my structure or... Yeah, I see. Interesting. Okay. All right. Well, there will be more time in the future to figure this out. Uh, here we go.
Another jump here. I can make it. Money? Nope, not money. Here we go. Uh, avoid throws. Hold L1. Okay. That could have gone a little bit smoother, but I'll take it. Uh oh. Shit. Okay, this is just a it's a secret area, nothing to be worried about. Or maybe even critical path. Oh, I, I was kind of hoping to explore that a little bit more. I don't see why the game had to throw me down here so quickly. And there we go. Uh, I really wish we had not immediately gone in this room. <laughs> if I gotta be honest. We're probably missing a lot of collectibles. Uh, the burning 10 p.m. The club. I hope it's where I all face Sean. I overheard one of the thugs talking about betting on something going down, down there tonight. That sounds... That sounds to me an awful lot like a fighting tournament of some sort. Guess we can't go through, can't go back through there, huh? Ah, oh, damn it. The game does not waste any time at all. Oh, I see. I can actually, I can upgrade things right here. Okay, okay. So I already got this one. Uh, my repeated triangle combo thingamabob. Uh, let's see here. You know what? I feel like this one actually might be kind of useful because I feel like I'm prone to accidentally press parry when I'm on the ground 
as opposed to R2, so maybe this will work out. Moving through the warehouse will be a lot easier with these keys. Oh! These will be useful. Yes, they will be useful, but does this also mean we can actually go back and explore some of those previous areas? Because if we can, I'm definitely going to take advantage of that. Oh, are you kidding me? We can't even go back here? Oh, well. I'm kind of impressed by how many of these collectibles that we managed to get, but I feel like something gives me an itch of a feeling that we might have missed a couple of these four. Ooh, what is this? Reach a level score of 5,000. Well, that's cool, but I suspect... I suspect that the game wants you to reach even higher level scores than that. You're sure about that, Kung Fu? Sure about that, Kung Fu? Yes, I am very certain about that. There we go. There we go. There's some of my combos in action. Oh, fuck. I was like, I need to perform the circle thing on her, but it didn't work out. Fuck. I wonder, I do wonder if there's a trophy for dropping your weapon when enemies say to drop your weapon. I'm not going to do it on this playthrough, but I'll, I suppose I'll think about that for the future. Oh shit. I thought, man, I thought, oh man, Cozy, maybe you can actually pull off the, uh, no dying, uh, like, until uh, you get to level 25 playthrough on this one, but clearly that is not going to happen. Uh, let's see here. Okay. Okay, I'm just... Uh, I know this seems pr probably pretty obvious to a lot of people. I'm just noticing now for the first time that after you clear a combat encounter, your he health fully heals. That is definitely something to keep in mind for subsequent playthroughs.
Gotta say, quite I quite like the art direction in this particular level. Good job. Good job, slow clap. That's it? Is he permanently down? Well, that was a disappointment. see here is it now what I'm curious about is this is this just for this level or is this for the entire game ooh uh, so I gain health on takedowns Might as well unlock this, make my life a little bit easier. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wanted to see it. I wanted to see it. A passkey for a room in the sanctuary. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't think I'm going to be able to collect those final two. Those final two collectibles. Mm. Someone's private room. I guess I'll be able to access it after I defeat the boss. Ooh. I wasn't expecting... I mean, I knew that there would be magic in this game with the aging beads, but I wasn't expecting plant magic like that. Oh shit, I wasn't supposed to do this. Oh, I guess that's not the end of the battle. Oh, it's not even the end of the level?
Oh, fuck. Sorry, I went to type something and I didn't even think that the game would surprise me like that. Fuck. Uh, hold on a second. Let me just real quick type something out. All right, and let's get back in the swing of things. No, nothing to unlock, so. <laughs> Oh shit. Uh, I need to. That was a mistake on my part. Should have spared him, but. I, I was too caught up in the heat of the moment, too motivated to finally defeat him that it didn't. It didn't register me that I needed to spare him. I'm guessing I probably I probably would have gained access to that private room after I spared him if I had chosen to do so. You know what? I feel like I've been struggling a lot with gaining forward momentum on my enemies. I'd, I'd imagine that that will help. This seems like it will help too, so I'm going to get that too. There we go. Okay, I like the little narrative here that this is, we started early in the day and now we're heading to the club a little bit more in the afternoon. I bet that the next level will take place during the evening, the next one will take place during the dead of night, and then the final one, presumably, will take place at like the crack of dawn. So here we go, the botanist, the fighter, the artist, the CEO, and the leader. What's funny is that I'm actually familiar with a lot of the Chinese characters uh, that are being displayed on screen, but I'm familiar with their Japanese kanji counterparts, which typically have similar meanings, but different readings, different pronunciations.
Forget about it. If you're not on the list, you're not getting inside. Private party. Come back tomorrow. Ooh, 1973. Back off now. Ooh, that was a good throw. Yeah? What do you want? Sean, where can I find him? Guys, we got a problem here. Okay, so it's not... Your health doesn't fully get re replenished when you complete a combat encounter. It's only when you perform takedowns. Okay, okay. Please don't hit me. Where is Sean? <laughs> he, he's with the fighters for, for the burning. Only Sean's disciples have passes to get inside. We'll see about that. I'm not gonna lie, I was expecting there to be more people hanging around here. But I guess it makes sense if we're going to have these battles in which there's like a lot of space between each combatant, you know? There we go. Ooh. Okay, hold on. Okay, so it seems like you do all of your health does get replenished in certain instances. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Okay, so it seems like your upgrades carry through through the entire game, which I guess makes sense because it doesn't seem like it's very long given the um, rate at which we're going. Let's see. I'm, I'm a little bit confused. Max age unlock. Is it saying that like when I'm like older than 25, I can't unlock it? Oh, recover five years. Now, if I recover five years, does do am I still theoretically able to get that one trophy or am I not able to get it? Mm. I might as well unlock this. I feel like there aren't going to be a ton of moments where I'm going to have to catch an item midair, you know, but might as well. Let's see here. 
I, I need to, I unlocked this one, but I feel like I have not used it a whole lot, and I feel like I should. This one I used a little bit. Keep forgetting. There we go. I should have taken that guy while he was down, but it's okay. That did a lot of damage. I'm not gonna lie, maybe it's because I haven't been like paying that close attention to like videos and screenshots of this game. I was not expecting there to be so many female combatants. Obviously, the revelation at the beginning that I could play as a female version of the protagonist was a surprise, but all the female fighters themselves are that you fight are a welcome surprise as well. I'm not going to buy anything just yet. I'll hold off for a little bit. Haven't you had enough? That right there, that's the kanji for fire.
There we go. The two giants over there. What's behind their door? A nice fight in the burning of our town. Excellent. There we go. Not that hard. They're so big that they're just an easy target for a lot of attacks. I had the opportunity there to use L1 at the right time while I was down, but I didn't take it. it. Fuck! You really, like, you really have to be super precise if you want to do that. Hold on, what is it? Uh, while on the ground, parry to counter your enemy's attack. Yeah, okay. Clearly, you have to be super, super careful. She gave me a lot more trouble than I thought she would. Come on, Jen. Kick it. <laughs> Jesus, that was brutal. He's dead. Him and the botanist from the first level are both 100% dead. I guess I gotta drop down. Ugh. Fuck. It's just, it's hard to figure out like what buttons I gotta press to break out of his throw when I'm at a weird angle like that. I will say, by and large, those big guys, those heavies are not that difficult to take down, despite all that. Uh, okay, for a second I was like, why did everything turn red? Who is this? You are not supposed to be part of tonight's war. No. There was a a dialogue opportunity there, but I didn't take it.
Damn it. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, uh, with this pass, I can go directly to the burning. Okay. Hold on, did I miss? No, I thought I missed something. Uh, can I can I not go back through there? Come on. This game has to stop railroading me into rooms and let me backtrack a little bit. There we go. All right. Okay, so this proves what I was theorizing earlier. Now that we're at level 26, we can't unlock this anymore. I'm going to hold off on doing Rejuvenate because it feels like a little bit of a cheap out. Let's see. Add one half focus bar. Hmm. Hmm. <clears throat> you know what? No, I'm going to focus on this instead. Let's see, let's test it out. There we go. That's cool. Oh, I bet I can. Yes, I can. Perfect. Perfect. You gotta love it. Gotta love it when you're like, oh man, is the game anticipating that I would try to interact with this one object in a very specific way? And the game acquiesces. It is impossibly dark. What is going on? 
Uh oh. What? Oh, okay. I have to, I gotta appreciate, like, even when you're not playing especially well as I am, the game does a really good job of making you feel like you're doing cool, impressive stuff. And that's a, a difficult feat to pull off. And it's off to slow clap. These guys made a good ass game. Okay, here we go. Back in the club. Even here, even though you don't hear as many people talking about the club level in this game, the art direction is quite good. Oh. Big stick, man. Fuck. Uh, let's see here. I'm not using the, the L2 attacks, to be fair. So that's definitely putting myself at a needless advantage. Let's do this. Oh, what's this? Wait, permanent unlock? What's the difference between a unlock and a permanent unlock? Oh wait, is the idea that I can only I can use these until I until I die and then I lose access to them? Is that the idea?
Is that... Is that supposed to be a collectible? Are we re-entering the building? Uh, yeah, this is. This is the exact same layout, but we're re-entering it for whatever reason. Level score. C four. My arms are yours. I recognize that uniform. It represents a school for the weak and the feeble. So, from if the last fight that we had with the Metal Gear Solid villains is any uh, indication. There will probably be another round to this fight after this initial battle. <laughs> uh, we're not doing good, though. Uh, also, I need to stop doing eye strikes. It's literally the only type of strike that I've done. Damn it. Let's see. <sighs> so wait, after you've permanently unlocked something, but what are all the other bars for? There we go. There will be another round, so we're good. We're still good. We can still spare him. 
I think. You're almost as good as Yang. There we go. Here we go. Here we go. Do I still kill him? Oh. Seems like I don't... Seems like I've not fully understood the mechanic by which you spare your enemies, unfortunately. Oh well. There will be plenty more time in the future to replay the game and figure out how to do so. see anything going on in here not really so yeah I don't really understand what's the point in like re unlocking repeated like permanent unlocks Okay. I I feel like I'm going to have a lot of fun with that new move. Uh, let's see here. You know what? You know what? Before we head into uh, our next big Sifu battle, let's do a little bit of snacks in Coracion. Ladies and gentlemen, it's been a bit of a hot minute since we last indulged in some delicious super good super tasty snacks uh but lo and behold we're doing it all over again because you gotta love them snackums and today we have uh quite the tasty delectable treat at least i hope it will be uh this hold on i'm trying to get a good what's a good problem is, is that your character is always a little bit off center so it, it's sort of hard to 
it, it's sort of hard to get a good like kind of game view given the specific amount of game that I'm showing in the upper left corner of the stream. Doesn't matter, you get the idea. Uh, today, we are gonna be having uh, Krakot. Uh, these are chocolate wheat bars, once again, from France. Uh, this time they're from the LU uh, company, uh, Créateur des Biscuits, uh, depuis uh, 1846. I think that's correct, basically. Uh, they've been making biscuits since 1846. Amazing. Uh, let's read the back of this package over here. Crac, uh, crac, uh, vous reconnaissez uh, craquinette uh, depuis plus de 30 ans. Uh, votre cacotte à uh, fourré nous fait tout craquer. Uh, son délicieux croustillant et son fondant sont le secret de la bonne humeur au petit déjeuner et au goûter. Um, basically what it's saying is that this thing's real cracky and it's good for breakfast and tasting. Uh, and then they have the same instruction in German. Uh, yeah, I mean, this thing, as you can see on the back, this thing is made out of uh, both wheat and also chocolate as well. Uh, it's not made out of orange juice. I think that's just meant to indicate that this is the kind of thing you would have at breakfast with a bit of orange juice. Without further ado, let's go ahead and let's dig into this. Ooh, look at, look at how, hold on, before we, we crack it open and smell them. Look at how nicely arranged these are. I thought they were just going to be all strewn about. They're way longer and way thinner than I was anticipating they would be, but they still look good. Let's open them up. Now we, have, of course, have the patented uh, cozy rhythmic bouquet, in which we sniff our snack for the first time to see how it smells. Whoa, now that is a intense scent of chocolate. I was not expecting it to be that powerful. I mean, there's not much else to do, but dig in. Again, a little bit shocked by how thin they look, but it still seems like it'll be a good substantial time. Let's take a bite. Hmm. 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 That's disappointing. That is, honest to God, pretty disappointing. I, um, you know, first thing, first impression, the moment I first bite into it, hmm, there's quite a bit of, like, crunchy wheat. This thing, I was expecting this to be more like a, uh, more akin to, like, a very kind of chewy granola bar. But it's actually, honestly, what it is, is this thing is a cracker. It is a very slightly soft cracker that has a thin little coating of, che of uh, chocolate inside it. And I wouldn't entirely hate that, but for whatever reason, the wheat part of the cracker, its taste just gets worse and worse and worse the more you eat of it. The chocolate is good, but the more and more I just let it marinate in my mouth, the more and more I feel like the the crappiness of the wheat comes through. Like it, just when you think it's all gone and over with, there's like this final metallic aftertaste that kind of hits the roof of your mouth and ugh, it's really not that great. It's not the worst thing I've ever had, but like it's really disappointing for something that looked so solid on the outside. You know what? Unfortunately, I don't have any on hand. Um, but I do wonder how these would pair with milk. If I were to dip these in milk, would it be kind of like an Oreo cookie where the sogginess would kind of unlock their flavor somewhat? You know what? I have a bottle of water that I've been drinking from off stream every now and then. It's not the same as milk, so I'm not going to judge them too harshly if this doesn't work out. But I do want to see if dipping them in a little bit of water enhances their overall flavor profile and mouthfeel by a little bit. One, 
two, three. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. It didn't make like um like a substantial difference, but I actually I'm not gonna lie, that actually didn't hurt. I don't think that I, you know, should have used water. I think milk would have been a, a better uh beverage to dip it inside of, but like that actually was not bad. And you know what? I'm not getting as much of that acrid aftertaste as I was experiencing the first few times. Hmm, I was gonna give these things a five. I was gonna give these things a five out of ten, but I think after much consideration, I think I'm gonna give uh, Krakat uh, chocolate flavor a six out of ten. Definitely not that bad, but definitely could be much better. But if you are gonna have them, you kinda gotta have them with a beverage, preferably milk. All right, well, without further ado, let's jump right back into the swing of things. I gotta be honest, I feel a little bit bad, uh, just a little bit bad that um, it seems like we started a little bit later than we could have because I'm having a lot of fun with this game and I feel like at the rate at which we're going, we could complete it tonight if we move fast enough. I know that normally I end my streams at 11, but if we get through this with enough quickness, I'm, I might as well see it to the end. Mm. Here we go. This is the level that everyone talks about when they talk about this game having serious artistic chops. We educate, we entertain, we inspire, uh, we provide spaces for social interaction and reflection, we irrigate the city with valuable contributions set forward, open your eyes and open your mind. This place is like a maze, but if I get it right, I just need to find the top floor to face Kuroki. Ooh, ooh, look at this. This is cool. Piece of shit.
Don't be around here. You stay there. Ooh, I like, speaking of good design, I appreciate here that, uh, as you can see on the floor, there is a small little yellow line leading up, up, up the stairs. And you could attribute that to just like a kooky little museum kind of like design quirk. But it's also a way for the game to not so subtly show you the direction of where you need to go next. Here we go, another one of those rooms. This is where we got it just right. Um, This is a nice little hack if you know how to do this. The the, uh, the glass sound effect, so punchy. Oh, this is a cool room. I'm so used to, you know what, I think part of the problem is that I'm so used to playing God of War Ragnarok that I, I keep making the mistake of pressing R1 and R2 to fight when I should really press circle and triangle. Ooh, cool, and now the, the thingy in the center of the room will actually draw in the direction that it's been set. <laughs> did not go as well as I was trying it to have it go.
lot of these things I haven't unlocked yet. I don't necessarily know how useful they're going to be, but I figure I might as well just unlock them because there's probably a trophy for like unlocking all the skills in the game. Looks like I'll need to go through the exhibition. Hmm, interesting. Look a little small. Oh shit, there are a lot of people. Ah, oh, fuck. <sighs> um, I feel like I'll probably do this one accidentally, so I might as well have it on hand. I feel like on subsequent playthroughs, this particular section will probably be a lot easier if I relied a little bit more on the the kicking move.
All right, let's go. Stop this meaningless crusade here. Kuroki has long since abandoned this life of violence and bloodshed. Turn around and leave now. Uh. I only wish to meet her. I told you, Kuroki will not speak with you or anyone else. For the last time, step aside. Interesting. An actual tomb. Uh, all right, let's see here. R oh, fuck, I keep forgetting that I need to use the L2 moves. This guy would be so much more easily taken down if I remembered to do them. Here we go. Okay. Oh, that that right there, it's like that one guy from the back rooms. That one uh spindly paperclip dude. I feel like I have not focused on these enough. Hmm. Am I supposed to go there? I don't know. Okay, clearly this is a an optional enemy because fuck. Wow, she didn't even flinch avoiding that. <laughs> I 
Okay. I, I like how the game gets a little bit more open world ish. I found this on one of Sean's disciples. Oh, interesting. Okay, so that probably uh, unlocks that one uh, kind of code entry room in the club from the previous level. So I guess this would be a reason to go back and replay it. Uh, first time chatter, uh, Kay thinks by, I'm pretty sure that's how their name is pronounced, says, uh, legend tells of a legendary warrior whose kung fu skills were the stuff of legend. I don't know if I would say that my kung fu skills were exactly the stuff of legends, but I appreciate the chat all the same. I hope that you're having a good evening. Ooh, what is this? I'm curious. Can I go? Can I go down to the floor beneath me or am I kind of am I kind of locked on this one? This one in the fourth floor, that is. Let's see. There's only one way to find out, right? Yeah, I have no option. Uh, hold on. It's easier if I use the stairs. Can I even? Yeah, unfortunately, I can't quite go to the top floor just yet, which means I guess I have to I have to follow that yellow. This door has an old lock. Can I break it? Maybe I need like a a proper type of weapon to do so. All right, I guess I might as well follow the line. Ooh, what is this? Believed that if we took the time to stand outside in the rain, it would cleanse us both physically and spiritually. Water has the power to finally set us free. Cleansing of a darkened soul. Water is the key to being reborn. It is considered redemptive in nature. Yeah, I did not handle that one very well.
Uh, I cannot see shit. I need to return to the center. Fuck. Uh, let's see here. Oh, fuck. I already revived that I'm getting my ass kicked. Fuck you! What is this? Hold on a sec. Quick snack. There we go. I feel like I'm getting better at throws after parrying people. is like an iceberg. It floats with one-seventh of its bulk above water. Our consciousness is merely the tip of the iceberg. We must dive beneath the water to explore the subconscious, to face the past. Uh, I thought I could throw the, or rather kick the weapon, but there we go. Oh, fuck. I did not expect that trap door.
what do we want to upgrade here? Flowing Claw. Wow, this is really impressive. Uh, when I first started this level, I was like, okay, there's some like pretty cool artsy-fartsy stuff going on in the exhibits, but this is really getting out there. Jesus. Yay, there we go. Oh, wow, it keeps going. Should probably take advantage of this. Increase the impact of parry on opponent structure. Cutscene time. I do not want to fight you. That feeling of vengeance I will not see you. Right, because she's, unlike the other characters of the game, she's Japanese. You, you can have closed the door any quieter.
I'm not. Yeah, I'm not doing well at this. God damn, I feel like I can't, e e even when I, like, tilt this stick, I feel like I can't block her attacks at all. I sh honestly, I should have. I shouldn't have bothered with trying to spare her. This time, my blades will not fail. Oh, wait a minute. I have one of these weapons now. Shit, well, this is definitely uh, something I should have definitely considered. I gotta be honest, I'm not appreciating how much of a difficulty spike this boss was compared to all the other bosses that we fought so far.
what the fuck? Oh my fucking... I can't fucking get any hits in on her. What the fuck? What the fuck? If I go through the trouble of catching one of her kunai or whatever they're called, at least make it so that they absolutely hit her when I try to projectile throw them at her. Oh my god, oh my god, fuck! Fuck! After this, I'm definitely going to look up strategies and guides to defeating this boss because I don't feel like the game did a very good job of adequately preparing me for this particular boss battle. Compared to the previous couple of boss battles where it's like, okay, this is an extension of all the skills and abilities that you've learned up until this point, but ratcheted up to like 110%. This boss battle was like, completely out of nowhere. I feel like there were like three different mechanics that I was not aware of that I needed to have mastered in order to do any good on that particular boss battle. That was not fun at all. I was motivated earlier to keep going with the final two levels during the stream, but you know what? I think I'm going to call it a day over there. Will I play more of Sifu on a Thursday stream? I don't know. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. I'll think about it. Uh, but until then, thank you to everybody for tuning in to tonight's stream. Uh, remember, as always, you can catch these streams live on Twitch every Monday and Thursday at 8.30 p.m. EST, and as VODs on YouTube every Wednesday and Saturday at 3.30 p.m. EST. And of course, as always, you can find me on Twitter at Alex Cozine if the tweets and the tweets are more your speed. You can also find me over on Hive Social at CozyBear, K-O-Z-I-B-E-A-R. Till next time. I'm Alexander Kazina, aka Cozy Bear, and I hope that you have a good night.